Corey Ten Shara, guys. Yeah. On stage, I, had a I had a chance to think about it when Corey was on stage. I can, it's on the mic now still. It's like a combination, you know when a trucker goes on a 10 hour haul eating nothing but Slim Jims, Red Bulls, and Speed? He has diarrhea, shits it into a crock pot, slow cooks that for like three hours with some anchovies, feta cheese. That's Corey's breath. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Scott Medeiros is coming up next. A man who has fucked more fat girls in their return policy at Lane Bryant. <laughs> never been to prison, oh but his tattoos have. <laughs> Let's go back to these ones. Scott's disappointed more fat girls in a dressing room mirror. <laughs> and with the Lane Bryant one, if we do this again. Um, but for real, Scott likes a girl with some real curves to her spine. <laughs> for being here and um, thank you guys for just showing up on time. That's awesome. Happy, uh, happy birthday yesterday. Woo! Woo. That was my birthday yesterday, yeah. Happy birthday yesterday. Yeah, it was great. No, another year closer to death. I'm uh, psyched. Uh, it was tough getting people to come here and um, I can't help count how many times I was like, yo, uh, we're having a roast for Alan. I'm like, oh, uh, Alan who? I'm like, Alan Valois. Oh, shit, yeah. Who the fuck is Alan Valois? I'm actually gonna fix this mic. <laughs> Hope it doesn't cut out. Alright, sweet. Um, yeah, Alan's such a loser that uh, people save his name in their phone as Don't Answer. <laughs> yeah, Alan's such a loser that uh, when you friend him on Facebook, a message pops up that says, Are you sure? <laughs> and I'm like, No, I'm not. I don't think so. It's a bad idea. Ryan Valois, what's up? Ryan, I'm not gonna really roast you, dude, because I know you'd be here to watch your brother get verbally annihilated. Um, and you deserve it. I mean, you got your ass fucking kicked by this kid every single day, twice on Sunday. Um, I mean, <laughs> um, hold on, I lost my place. <laughs> oh yeah, growing up, Alan didn't beat you to a pulp. He beat you to a soggy baked potato. I mean, showing up to Alan's house, um, you know, I go there. It was like watching an episode of Tom and Jerry. Only uh, on this episode, Jerry gets caught and uh, gets his fucking teeth kicked out of his face. <laughs> um, it, it really was. It was like it was like an episode of Passion. I, I'm sorry. It was like the movie Passion of the Christ, uh, where Ryan played Jesus and Alan played every other motherfucker that whooped his ass in that movie. <laughs> Um, Justin Crofton is here. Just raise your hand. A lot of people don't know who you are. That's the ugly kid right there. There he is. Um, Alright, I'm going to tell you something about Justin. Justin, Justin, yeah, his tooth is black if you guys didn't know. Um, he went on, and this is serious, he went on a spiritual, a spiritual journey to India for three months. Um, and it's crazy because, like, nobody really cares. At all. It was weird because I was talking to his girlfriend, Lisa, who was right there. Raise your hand. That's her. Yeah, she's hot. Um, it was weird. I was talking to her while he was in India, and I was like, Lisa, are you going to be able to go like three months without having sex? I mean, really? She sat there. She took a minute. She thought to herself. And she pulled my dick out of her mouth. And she was like, nope. And I was like, I didn't think so, man. Amazing, by the way. Mm. Uh, Joey is here. Joey! Oh. 
Uh, I want to thank Joe. He actually got me a job where he works at Meditech. I just want to thank you, Joe, for referring me to Meditech. So um, now I can share in the experience of every day just wanting to jump head first out of a fucking window. Uh, never been more stressed out in my life. Thanks. Awesome. Um, and you guys, uh, <laughs> you guys heard Joey recently got diagnosed with HIV. You know, uh, he calls it shingles, but. You know. Yeah, hey, seriously, he does not want each other. Uh, shingles, sorry. Um, I, I just want to... Alright, some of you guys don't know Joey, but close friends of Joey. Do you notice this about Joey? His awkwardly small, skinny girl hands? Look at them. Look at those things, dude. No, that's not your seven-year-old niece. That's Joey. I mean, he really... He needs two hands to hold a baseball. I mean, really. Um, seriously, just, just throw a bracelet and some nail polish, and uh, Justin will finally let you give him a hand job. Oh, where is, oh, I skipped somebody. Oh, Corey. I, look, I've never smelled Corey's breath. It smells fantastic, if you ask me. Um, it, it's funny, uh, just like Lisa, Corey, uh, your girlfriend gave me a blowjob as well. Um, but don't worry, though, listen, I respect her, okay? I, I have some respect. I return the favor. I, I sucked her dick, too. <laughs> Michaela, you know you're gorgeous. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, Corey works at Life Incorporated, and what this is, he works with mentally challenged people. And at first I was like, wow, that's so weird. Um, how did you get a job there? And then I realized, you know, the policy, they allow, um, retards to take care of other retards. And I was like, that makes sense. Yeah, you're a retard. Uh, yeah, trying to have a ten second conversation with Corey is more difficult than trying to tell Jen DeRoses to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jen, you <laughs> Jen, look, just look at Jen. Give a round of applause to Jen. Just look at her. Yeah, normally when you come somewhere, you look like Edward Scissorhands dressed in a clown costume. I really do. <laughs> you do. Um, we were talking about uh, mental illness. Um, Derek Diogo is here. This one's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not gonna say that Derek's dumb, um, but he, I will. he definitely is. <laughs> there are baby koala bears that can problem solve better than Derek. 